Good morning, folks. July 9th photo of Alaska, cinder cone covered in snow. A few weeks of ash eruptions and other events have left the pristine surface scarred. The Okinos cameras, streaming live and recorded. Down below is yesterday's footage. Top right is a very bored individual working at the wee hours of the night. Top left shows the subtrack and helps guide to and through the northernmost Atlantic seeps, discovering biodiversity in unexplored regions. Lots of buoys off in this area, including my favorite. Let's jump to Hurricane Gill out in the Pacific. By the time you watch, he may have been downgraded to Tropical Storm, expected to weaken significantly before swinging north and trying to swipe at Hawaii. Lots of rain inside. Jibai has made landfall in northern Vietnam and western China. The landslide risk there is building significantly. Meanwhile, be still my beating heart, that is Dorian. The remnants written off by me and everyone else are recharged and just off Florida's east coast. Temperature falling with the night down here. Remember the high over Australia is keeping all precipitation south and to New Zealand. Counterclockwise spinning low in Europe finally bringing the convergence across the continent not a moment too soon with the heat endured there for days. Speaking of heat, taking a back seat to both precipitation and cold records over the last week, the last month, and if you take 2013 so far, highlight it compared to where we were at this time last year, you might know why this channel prefers the term climate extremes rather than global warming. Power low in the central states again, drawing in counterclockwise and set to cause severe weather this evening and well north across another convergence. Solar flares? Quiet. Same story again. X'd out regions possess little flare potential, three possess some. The first down south keeps the story from yesterday and last night's news. Strong umbras but no central magnetic mixing. Near center disk today, it's actually two active regions, both beta with potential mixing at the tail of the top portion. The big guy who crested into view two days ago has lacked the trailing development needs to work on that positive blue if it wants to pop. Solar wind, just as quiet as flaring, or maybe more so, speed going way low. KP index, near the baseline, there is no geomagnetic disturbances or energetic flux events in our magnetic shield or near Earth space. There was indeed a CME yesterday, a small filament ripped off the southwestern quadrant and is just off the earth-facing position. So Holasco C3 at work showing the trajectory probably mostly missing earth to the right ahead of our orbital path. But last night's news showed NASA's endless spiral to have either a very narrow miss or a tiny glancing blow to earth, tiny being the operative word. Now NOAA's endless spiral is updated, shows just about the exact same thing. So we might see this glancing blow, or it may not be detectable. We are expecting to enter the solar wind streams from these coronal holes any time now. Aurora and geomagnetic watches in effect upon impact. Shots of our star to close, eyes open. No fear, it's 6.40 a.m. Eastern time and that's the news. Be safe everyone.